Welcome to our homecoming show. We didn't actually plan to do homecoming, but here we are. So, uh, do we have any alumni here with us? Yes, some, yes. Give it up for the alumni for coming out today. Yes. We have a very, very fun show for you. QDOT was uh, sound checking, sounded incredible. We've got the mayor here today, very, very excited. But first, let's get down to business. A Parkland McDonald's closed, and it was recently cleared to reopen after a rat infestation. Uh, which, but come on, guys, we all know that a rat infestation only makes the food better. Yeah, rats, rats, they make those, those mean BLTs. You know, they've got tomato, lettuce, bubonic plague, and you know, all the important stuff. <laughs> important stuff. Uh, a federal way woman was able to eat three pounds of grapes inside of a grocery store before a loss prevention officer was able to stop her. She ate three whole pounds before the officer stopped her. <laughs> what was he waiting for? The grapes to ferment? I don't know. <laughs> or maybe, you know, his segue needed to be charged. And when then they asked her to pay for the grapes, she threw her cart at the officer. So instead of just being charged for petty theft, she was also charged with assaulting an officer. You know, you go to the store, you wind up in jail for stealing grapes. You're going to go to the store and wind up in jail? Well, that's what happens when you grab the wrong list. Oh. All right, so Sears is closing down. <laughs> In Lakewood, Sears is closing down. Big news. Uh, shouldn't be a big surprise, though, as since 2010, their slogan has literally been, life well spent. Oh. Their slogan is a retirement mantra. <laughs> Not the best way to reach your younger audiences, especially since, you know, millennials, they don't need someone to tell them that their life is over. They just have to wake up, walk upstairs, and their parents remind them every day. Southwest Airlines uh, finalized a policy which will allow three types of support animals on their flights. They've narrowed it down to three. They've got dogs, cats, and miniature ponies. <laughs> that is the actual policy, which, you know, it's great if you ever want to have a third grade birthday party on an airplane. <laughs> I think we all know who's running Southwest Airlines. I think we do. And do you remember how horrifying it was last year when there were clowns running around at people on Halloween? Does everybody remember this? Yeah. Well, this year, you know, they were delayed by a week because all those clowns are running for office. <laughs> it's a scary time. <laughs> Speaking of clowns uh, running for office, local politician Pam Roach uh, was she dropped an F-bomb in an outburst at the District 1 vice chair, who is also her son. <laughs> Talk about bringing family matters to work. Her son, Dan, was banging a gavel to get his mom to be quiet, and then she yelled, F you, I'm leaving. And then she went into a room, slammed the door, and texted her BFF Stacy about how terrible her son is. And then she then apologized for her language, saying she must have been listening to too many Democrat protesters. De what? I mean, I guess that is one way to admit that you've been acting like an ass. <laughs> Hear that, Pam Roach? She's up for election this term, so get out and vote. Get out and vote. Senator Maria Cantwell, who debated on campus last month, if you remember, uh, under, on her ballot info, she only wrote that she has, or under community service, she only wrote that she has hiked a lot. I'm no expert, but I don't think that's community service. <laughs> so clearly she's just pandering to the Pacific Northwest voters. So we actually got a photo shoot from her, uh, or a photo from her last photo shoot here. Uh. There she is. So, uh, at a local middle school, thieves stole backpacks valued at about $5,000. How do middle schoolers have things in their backpacks worth $5,000? What are these kids buying backpacks from Gucci or something? I don't get it. Like, I'm pretty sure in middle school, my whole outfit costs like five bucks. <laughs> pair of overalls. Thanks, Mom. The only person's backpack that I can think of that seems to have an unlimited amount of or valuable items was her. 
which means that Swiper finally got the win. <laughs> yes. Uh, so they have started moving goats from one uh, from the Olympic Peninsula mountain range to the North Cascades because they have been attacking people. According to wildlife veterinarian Jenny Powers, they have two glasses of wine, their blindfolds go on, and then they take a little ride. I know, sounds like your Tuesday night, but uh, you know you screwed up as a goat when you find yourself floating in the air, blindfolded, and drunk on wine. <laughs> All of those things add up to a terrible time for a goat, but as humans, we literally have games built around each of those activities. <laughs> People literally brought the house down at a party, at an apartment complex uh, when the dance floor collapsed at Clemson University. 30 people were injured in the fall, which is the most realistic game with the floor is lava I have ever seen. <laughs> According to one victim of the fall, the party was just getting started. Uh, it's always a buzzkill when someone leaves the party, especially when that somebody is the floor. All right, that's what we got for the monologue. We have a great show for you coming up after this. We'll be back with more.